Hello. What is up, guys? Petrify here. Welcome back to a brand new Phantom Forces video. And today, we're going to be revisiting the Honey Badger one year later. Well, actually, it's like a year and six months since I went back and checked. But yeah, it's been a pretty long time. So the setup I'm going to be using is the same thing I've always been using. Uh, I always swap around stubby, angled. Uh, but the first ever grip I ever used on this thing was vertical grip, which was like a long, long time ago, back in 2016. But this is a setup I've been using uh, since like the last time I used it overall. So I'm going to use the same thing. Obviously, the only new thing is the blue laser. But uh, yeah, stubby grip and laser. That's it. I love the iron sights. Honestly, if you if you put a sight on this gun and you don't use the iron sights, you're you're doing a. Uh, if you guys don't use the iron sights on this, if you guys don't use the iron sights on this weapon, you're doing it wrong. I'm gonna be honest with you. Use your hands on the best sights in the game. So a lot of people always say that the honey badger is overrated, and I would I would say yeah it is because for the longest time Sin and I would always, you know, always talk about this weapon. That's because we actually like truly enjoyed it. It wasn't we weren't trying to say it was the best gun in the game. Obviously, everybody has their own opinion on the best guns, but for us, it was always a honey badger for that, you know, that perfect weapon for our play style. Because me and Sin play very similar to each other, so that's probably why we enjoyed the honey badger so much. Because it, it just it just flows very nice for anybody that's a rushing type player. As you guys don't know, it does have the fastest reload in the game, and it's been had that for quite some time. I think I think always like since the game gun came out. I can't really remember that far back, but oh okay, all right. But the control of the weapon has always just been really good and the way and when you get kills it's satisfying that's the biggest thing but there is a story behind this gun too i think why sin and i really enjoyed it if you guys don't know you guys probably won't remember but uh this was the first ever weapon that a developer decided to join during a stream and say hey can i show you guys something or hey can i join for the stream it was the first time the devs ever done that uh, with a content creator and it happened to be Sin and I streaming together uh, and all that happened so there's a story behind the the honey badger and he was like secretly using the badger he didn't tell us anything and then when we died by him he's we're like wait he has a badger and so our mission that entire stream was to kill him and grab the honey badger to see and check it out uh, if I can find the video I can show you guys a little snippet of us killing him uh, seeing the honey badger for the first time but it's just a really cool experience. It was really awesome. Uh, it, it and it was I was happy that it was the first time it ever happened to me. At the time, I only I almost had six thousand subs, so I thought it was something really cool. So it gave me a good memory for that. So there's a little backstory of why we also probably really enjoyed the Honey Badger as well. Not only just because it fits our playstyle perfectly, but uh, if we're talking about either even further back, back when I used to play Call of Duty, that was like my main game is COD. Uh, the Honey Badger in COD Ghost is hands down my favorite gun ever in any Call of Duty. I don't know why. Like, everybody hated COD Ghost. I, since every release after COD Ghost, uh, I see COD, uh, or COD Ghost as a very good uh, COD, so. But look how fast this reloads, dude. So, so crazy. <laughs> Yeah, but there, there's stories behind why why I enjoy the Honey Badger pass, like, it just being good for my playstyle. What is happening? These guys are just like... I almost died to that guy. Because my aim sucks. I went ahead and joined the new lobby because, honestly, I was tired of running around just finding one person and getting one kill. And then running around and find one person and get one kill. It was very annoying. Uh, but now we got Metro, which is Perfect. Perfect. Toss a frag right here. Try to keep him back a little bit. Ah, right, we're flanking. Because they're, they're sitting back sniping a little bit right there. there go. Got a triple. Let's push around quickly. That guy was kind of hard to hit. Couldn't really see him because my teammate. Body just standing up. Can you stop laying down? <laughs> this guy's always laying down. All right, we got to hit the flank real quick because they're all spawning back there. That body is just rolling. I thought I seen a guy laying there. 
These lobbies have been really slow. Not sure why. Uh, did that guy just spawn on the teammate as I was shooting him? That's the most unfortunate spawn I've ever seen in my life. I'll tell you. We're gonna push through. They're pushing my teammates back. See if we can push up here. Nice. I love and hate this map. It's just, it's way too easy to spawn trap. That's the, my opinion, that's the issue with it. If you have a good team that's on the opposite side, like over there, obviously they can spawn trap a lot more, but they have more opportunity to get out. But if you got a good team on this side of the map, and you're pushing the enemies this side, they have such a such such more hard of a time to get out. So it's it's really unlucky for them. To be honest. I heard footsteps. Oh no! That's so unfortunate, man. I was 19 and 0 too. I really wanted to stay alive that whole time. Fortunate. Oh my God, what am I? What am I walking into? Oh, there's a guy back there too. What? What did I just spawn into? That screen shake. What was he? Oh, what one was he using? PK. Gotcha. I don't know how I made it. Oh. Okay. There's another guy down there. Nice. Sorry, teammate. I know you worked so hard for that flank, but. Oh my. What's happening? Unfortunate. Oh. My last bullet. Oh, oh, there's another guy laying there, bro. How many, how many? <laughs> uh, what is this lobby that we're in, dude? Why is the top, top ranked players on their team going six and four, three and four? Bro, help them. You guys stop spawning in or what? This is what I don't understand about some high ranks. They don't, they don't ever like top frag. What are you guys doing? You guys have been playing the game this long and you guys aren't, aren't helping your team. I don't understand. So much screen shake. Oh my god, that's a nice spot, dude. Alright, we're gonna back up a little bit. I'm really weak. Assist, conscious kill. I'll take it. That nade really hurt. Last time I jumped down here, there's a guy hiding under here like a little hobbit. Okay, he's not here anymore. It looked like he was trying to get there though. Oh! <laughs> <gasps> What kind of beautiful nade is that? Oh, my aim, my aim. When I dropped off the ledge, my aim went everywhere. All right, 52 and four, not too bad. Uh, I really feel bad for this other team. Uh, one of their higher ranked players started playing, 17 and 10. The other guy just didn't do anything. All right, what map? We're getting Suburbia. Why are people voting Suburb over Desert Storm? I don't know. What is happening to this game? What? I don't understand. I I don't understand at all. Desert Storm is literally the best map in the game. So I really don't understand, gonna be honest. All right, well, let's see if we can somewhat, oh, hello guy. No, don't climb the ladder. It's not what I wanted, but maybe it bamboozled him enough to miss all the shots. That works too. 
Oh, there is a guy up there. We gotta watch out for him. Can we put? My God, can we push through this side? And a shotgun. Who would have thunk it, boys? Who would have thought we would go through an entire video without a shotgunner? Because it wasn't me. I didn't think that would happen. Not possible. Guys, one shot beyond belief. My god, that guy's laggy. Oh, no. Why is there shotgunners everywhere? There's three of them. There's three of them. I'm having a hard time really pushing up due to me running into shotgunners like this guy. Uh, luckily, I killed him before he could get a shot off. Uh, and also, people sitting on the roof. So I can't push right side, so I gotta push through left side. Um, so I'm having a little bit of a difficult time. Uh oh. That guy didn't continue pushing through. I want to die here. Already losing half. Oh no. And there's a guy above too. Oh my god, the amount of people right there. Oh, it hurts. Where did this guy on the left side go? I know as soon as I look away, he's going to shoot me. All right. Why am I climbing a vehicle? Stop. It's not a ladder. Oh, there they are. Oh my God. The amount of people. Yikes. What is happening? Please stop. I don't want it. Leave me alone, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry to cut this gameplay off short. The video is getting a lot longer than I wanted it to. If you guys like to watch the rest of this gameplay and also some more gameplay, there's going to be a video up on uh, Petrify Extra. There's a link in the description down below. I'm going to I plan to upload any extra gameplay that I get from videos while recording cuz there's always like one or two extra gameplays just sitting there not being used. Uh, I'm going to post it over there. Because we don't really get much content on that channel, so I decided that we can go ahead and post some extra gameplays. So if you guys want to watch the rest of this one and uh, some other gameplays, there's a link in the description below. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys smash that like button down below. It would be much appreciated. And also, if you're brand new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button for more content like this in the near future. Anyways, I'm going to go. Peace out.